Hi, Light Block Mountain here with a cast video. Who is she? This is my second one. I literally came up with this idea because I made a typo and I don't remember what I was trying to type, but I ended up typing cars. And then that just made me think about the movie Cars. And so I was like, oh my God, I, I have to make Lightning McQueen and Mater. And apparently his name is Toe Mater, which I didn't realize. Uh, so this is me doing that and for some reason I decided to do their aspirations and stuff first and I actually just saw the new stuff that they added for the likes and dislikes in addition so I thought that was perfect and it was really easy to follow and it also helped in defining their personalities a lot more which was very good but yeah obviously I made Lightning McQueen like an athlete because uh, what else would he be um and I also made him high maintenance which I think is new and I love because I mean obviously he's high maintenance because he's a sports car so he like literally needs a lot of high maintenance and then Mater is just like good overall because I don't know I think that's the vibe he gives like I feel like he would give to charity right he's also goofy and then the recycling I almost made him a slob but then I gave him the recycling because then he actually like dive into the trash and try to make things and then he can be handy and because he's a pickup truck. I also made them both dislike things that was like what I deemed smart so like programming or science or anything like that just because I feel like they're both not very smart. I'm sorry guys. Oh my god okay don't kill me okay look at this this face. I know I decided to try and go as close to the cartoon as I could and so they have huge eyes so I was trying to make them rectangular but you couldn't they stay round and he also has really thin ass lips and then because they're cars they're like square so I tried to give him like a really square head um I yeah I don't know he does have green eyes but and then okay the nose for both of them was kind of difficult but so for Mater I basically just tried to make it as like flat and kind of square as I could but then that just ended up like a triangle and then I also made him a lot more angular than Lightning McQueen and also his hair it actually spawned him with like perfect hair in my opinion but I went through anyway and I decided to go back but I don't know why I imagine him as like I mean he is like scraggly right he's like a scraggly he's technically not an old well I don't know how old he actually is but I decided that he was like a bit of an older man so like wait what what am I saying he is he's from like the 50s or the 60s right so like technically I made him younger than he actually is I think well eh no actually that that age kind of works yeah and then the age spots make sense and the thinning hair makes Makes sense and like his skin makes sense yeah and his fashion oh my gosh okay see I knew what I was doing my gosh I also made his body like as square as I could because I think he's like one of the most square or rectangular characters like in the movie and I do mean physically squared not figuratively or personality wise but yeah just in general he's giving crazy old man vibes and I honestly love it also, I gave him those blue kind of like birthmark things because he does have some like leftover paint on him that's blue. And then to make him look rusty and that kind of thing, I gave him all of those old spots and that kind of thing. And I did give him like a little bit of hair. I mean, body hair. Um, But I actually left Lightning McQueen hairless kind of because I forgot, but also, you know, I thought that would be appropriate. Yeah, so I, I thought, oh my gosh, these really relaxed t-shirts or shirts in general were perfect for Mater and just in general there was a lot of good clothing for him for both of them it was actually not that difficult to do these I think the main challenge was the face and I kind of wish there was more I could do with it and I almost kind of wanted to do it like how people make me's in the Wii you know like how you can move the eyes up so much and the mouth up so much to make it look so ridiculous but then it kind of does turn into like a cartoon character right but I you obviously can't do that here so I really did what I could you know I like I know Mater looks odd as fuck right but he like he looks like an auto-generated sim 
which I kind of like in a way, like that just adds to his weird persona in a way. And I think it makes him great as a sim that you can put in your city or in your neighborhood. And then he's something that is just weird and odd about your game. And that's just what makes me love Sims, which I guess is obvious by the type of content I make. Oh yeah, I gave him dirty nails. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I also use a lot of werewolf stuff and like eco lifestyle, I think, on him. Um, But yeah, I also gave him blonde hair. I'm not sure why it just like the vibe felt right, you know? Like he's the kind of guy that's literally been out in the sun for ages, right? Oh, so I guess that would make your hair lighter, right? But then your skin would get darker. I mean, in this scenario, he's a white guy. I guess that's how I interpreted him. I, I don't know if what he's supposed to be, so. Oh, this outfit. I, <laughs> I had a really hard time with it for some reason, but then you'll see here in a sec. I wanted to give him those like really short jean shorts because I was like, oh my God, he's the kind of crazy that would actually wear that and then also be comfortable in them. Yeah, you see them here. But then I was like, I don't know. Like, I feel like that's maybe a bit more of a different type of outfit, but then by the time I changed it, I liked all the other outfits. So then I just didn't go with it. I just realized I used this shirt in my last cast video. Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, I figured I had to give him a cowboy hat because does he wear a cowboy hat at some point? I feel like he does. I'm not sure. Um, oh yeah, but I gave him that park ranger hat because you know, a lot of farmers or like people that are out in the sun a lot, they know to wear a hat, right? I don't know, it just reminds me of my dad because he always wears a baseball cap and he's he grew up in the West and on a farm. So I think that's where he got that habit, honestly. So Mater, he is one of those people that wears a scuba suit anytime that he swims or like the scuba diving stuff. Is that even, that's not scuba diving, that's snorkeling. Yeah, that wears snorkeling stuff anytime he, he swims. And so I figured he and Lightning McQueen have that in common because they're just like so, naive and like trying to be prepared when they don't really know what's going on which honestly reminds me of me and my friend like we were exactly like that we would have done that exact same thing so that's why i love them and i just think it's so wholesome which is honestly like the general vibe of the movie and why it's such a good movie oh i thought this outfit was really cute it was like my grandpa with the open shirt Oh, I wanted to use that hat, this hat with the plaid, but then, I don't know, it, it gave very veteran vibes, which is fine and could work, and I was thinking about giving him that kind of vibe, but it was too, it was just too structured for him, even though he is a box. I just thought it was too sharp. I mean, not physically sharp like he is, <laughs> he, he's actually physically sharp because he's all rusty, but sharp as in like two put together. Man, a lot of the clothes in the get together stuff is so good. I like, I'm actually really surprised. This is kind of my first time playing with those new clothes. So I was really excited that they were actually useful and looked good and that I got to play with them. Oh, I thought this was also like a very like grandpa outfit, like something my grandpa would wear. <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. Oh yeah, here I am changing the shorts. I thought I wanted to give him some like really baggy shorts because I thought that could work, but none of there weren't any browns or like good colors for it. So that was kind of sad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I made, uh, look at how pretty he is. I wanted to keep him like that. I really debated it, but I was like, no, it's not. I didn't do anything to him. So he, I made him as like round as possible. He doesn't really have a nose. So that was a little difficult. I mean, neither of them really have noses because they're cars. I tried to give him like a bigger kind of round and low nose because that car itself it has these bumps like it I don't know it looks like he has a really low set nose you know um and then I gave him kind of like a large uh jaw but then like rounded the cheeks because he does have some like pretty prominent cheeks and then I gave him like an underdeveloped jaw because I thought that was funny and I thought it kind of fit because like maybe he was a mouth breather as a kid and because he was like constantly running around I don't know 
But like, I don't know, like if you think about his voice and like what he would look like as a person, that's what he would look like, right? I thought that was so good. And then I almost picked like the darker kind of red like here for his skin, but I didn't because I, I wanted him to have more of that like pink, like sun kissed kind, not like actually tan, but you know, when people have like a lot of blood going through them, I wanted that. Ew, maybe I should have made him eat lighter to like give more of that like pink vibe but even with the skin adjustments that you can do I still couldn't find one that was like pink enough oh, I did think about giving him blush and then I forgot oh yeah but he's buff oh my god yes he is so buff he's like that kind of like firm like builds muscle really easily but also has like a good layer of skin on top you know which is like just very I I was gonna say yummy but uh, that feels a little odd talking about Lightning McQueen. I am not sure I'd describe him as that. Um, although red and yellow are like psychologically supposed to make you hungry. So maybe that's what it's doing to me. I don't know. Yeah, that's my excuse. His mane, even though he doesn't have any blue on him or whatever, I thought this was like childish enough for him. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like he's the kind of guy that like wears those like really tight shoes, like the ones that make your feet look small and like are kind of cloth. I think it's cause he's like a little bit more practical and so he wants something that's soft or at least he tries to be practical but doesn't know how. He gives me the vibe of the kind of guy, yeah, that would wear those toe shoes. But then I was like, eh, I guess he wears these ridiculous ones cause he's a child. Not literally, but like he acts like one. So I think he likes them because they make him look fast. You know, he's that kind of guy. Um, and I also made sure with every outfit to give him that like Fitbit thing. And I am, I don't know what pack, does that come, is that new with the growing together? I think it might be. Uh, so I actually really like that for, you know, a little added detail because of course he's got to have the newest and bestest tech for his car and himself because he is a car. And then here, okay, I wasn't sure, it was a little difficult to pick a formal outfit for him, but I figured he's like tr maybe trying to be a player. And so I thought this like slightly unbuttoned shirt would work well. And then again, with the odd shoes kind of, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of car guys that are into shoes. Am I wrong in that? Oh, and I also noticed I didn't change his hair at all. I didn't even try because I was just like, this is too perfect. <laughs> and I knew as soon as even in the first, like his daily wear, I knew I wanted to use this shirt. So I used it for the sports. Yeah. I also keep trying to give them short shorts just because I feel like they're short shorts guys, you know? And also I think he wants to show off his legs. His sleepwear, much more yellow, I guess, because he wants to make the sleep go faster i guess <laughs> and then i also saw in the beginning that i really wanted to use one of this like sportsy leather jacket because i feel like it looks like a racing jacket but just a little fancier but then i had a hard time pairing something with it and as soon as i saw the pants i chose i was like oh my god i need he is so flashy you know he these are perfect ones see Sure, maybe I should have made them yellow, but I just felt like this fit, you know? Okay, so here I am putting... He... Oh, his... Oh my gosh, why am I... I'm like drooling over this guy that is Lightning McQueen. Wow, who would have thought? Yeah, but so I think they're a cute pair with their snorkels. Um, and this one was pretty easy. Um, I knew I wanted him to be showing some skin in a tank top and some more yellow, which was nice. I feel like I could have used more yellow throughout, but I don't know. I was trying to make it not too clashy, you know, like I was trying to make it still more wearable and not too odd. I was also trying to prevent a Ronald McDonald situation. And also I didn't want to make a full yellow outfit because I thought that was too much. Yeah, so I know like as a pair, they do look very odd together, but I guess in the movie, that's kind of how they were too. So I think it makes sense and I think it's really cute. Oh, that picture's so cute. Um, and then I played with them a little bit and oh my god. They, 
he starts like doing push-ups randomly and then Mater's like, I don't like that. And then they both start thinking about trains. <laughs> so as usual, shout out to me on the gallery at Lightblock Mount and Lightblock Mountain on Reddit and one of those two on Twitter, even though I don't post much again. Thank you for watching and little surprise at the end. It's not as long as the other one, but I couldn't think of anything else. So sorry.